if you watched the previous modules and you're looking for a more stable alternative to iTunes, I can recommend to you a program called Atunes. So let's go to Mozilla Firefox and grab Atunes off the web. All we have to do is type in Atunes download. Here you can see the official Atunes website and we can learn how to download Atunes from there. We can grab Atunes from sourceforge.net. We'll want to grab the Debian package, the .deb file, which we see listed here. Click on that a single time. You'll be prompted to place this file either in a directory or by default, Mozilla Firefox will just ask you if you want to start the download and then it will place it in your downloads directory. Uh, or if you, if you do see this prompt, you can just have it open in the Ubuntu Software Center. So let's go ahead and choose that option. If you do not see this option, please do not worry. You can download the file and that file is going to go by default to your downloads directory. And then you'll have a Debian package file here, which will be downloaded. You can simply double click on that and it will open in the Ubuntu Software Center by default. So you can see we obviously have to download this Debian package file first. It'll be placed in a temporary location and then opened by Ubuntu Software Center. Once our download is complete, Ubuntu Software Center will open. Remember to only install this file if you trust the origin. We got it off of SourceForge, and so we do, in fact, trust the original source. We'll hit Install, and the installation will, of course, begin. After reviewing this error, I'm going to go ahead and ignore this message that says the package is a bad quality and install anyway. And then we'll test the Atunes functionality and make sure that everything's working correctly. Put in your password here when prompted and the installation should begin. Now our package has installed. Let's go ahead and open the program. Uh, you can see that we have no launcher icon for this. It is a uh, Debian package that we installed. So we'll go over here to the Ubuntu logo, to the Unity search, and type in Atunes. I thought for a moment it was on the launcher because I have Banshee Media Player here. You can see how similar those two icons are. Let's open up Atunes now and see how she runs. Well, welcome to Atunes. You can see here that it is trying to emulate iTunes a little bit here with a familiar interface. And so I'm not going to bother showing you around this program too much. I think it's it's so similar to iTunes that you're going to be able to figure that out on your own. The main thing is that the Debian package installed properly, even though it gave us that warning. Uh, it allowed us to install anyway. And that's good. So here, of course, we can import all of our music. We can manage it. We can play it. That's all well and good. In the next module, I'm going to be showing you the Banshee Media Player, which is another alternative to iTunes that runs natively in Ubuntu Desktop.